A pleasant afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. It is the PFF U19 Boys National Championship as we come to you from the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium. At again, at ulit, magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Maayong hapon din po. Siyempre, huwag natin kalimutan, of course, ang ating teams, my Stallion FC at Central Visayas FA. At Uh, ito ay home game. Pwede natin sabihin sa Central Visayas F FA. Sila po ang hosts dito sa final round ulit ng ating U19 Boys National Championship. The Stars of Tomorrow. As we have our starting lineups that we will look to get through eventually for our competing teams. Ang Stallion FC po, kita nga natin. Medyo kulang sila ngayon dahil may mga players na call up sa U23 national team. At may loro actually sila later. So, we will update you on that. Si Christian Jed Lauron ay ang goalkeeper. At pwede nga natin sabihin, na-spot siya rito sa U19 national championship last year. Si Jed Lauron actually ay taga Mindanao at na-recruit. And is actually getting experience with the first team of Stallion FC in the Philippines Football League and Copa Paulino Alcantara. And leading the way sa kanilang opensa, I see Andre Gonzalez. He has picked up a number of braces or tigdalawang goals sa mga kanilang laro. And we have the likes of Sean Saludis also with a brace against Nofa. And they have players who in fact have Copa Paulino Alcantara experience as that is an open tournament but they are missing a great number of players with the likes of Santos, Peña, Karaig. Again, nakola po sila sa ating U23 national team who will be competing later today. We will give those details later on. Ang coach nila ay si Richard Leble, isang membro din ng kanilang senior team. So, kita nga natin ang efforts ng Stallion FC in honing the stars of tomorrow. So, tapos na tayo rito sa Stallion. Check naman natin ang roster ng Central Visayas RFA. And there you go. Ang head coach nila ay si Glenn Ramos. Kilalang kilala po siya, of course. Nakikita natin ang pangalan niya sa mga headlines. And one man leading the charge for them is Theo Libarnes, who has just racked up goals in the group stage in hopes of getting them here where they are today and continuing their journey but they have a man in the midfield such as Vince Lamparas who will try to get them going and to connect in the attacking half. Their team captains Simon Del Campo of course will look to bring on that leadership for them. At pwede nga natin sabihin isang advantage dito purong puno o buo ang bench ng Central Visayas RFA as they managed to fill all slots were allowed to put 11 substitutes po sa inyong bench. So, sulit na ang ginawa nila rito. And let's see how our two coaches will be able to use their substitutes later on. We will be having that chess match, ang tawag natin dito, between the coaches later on. Kasi, syempre, gagamitin ang mga close pre-match protocol or walk. Yeah. And a lovely day here in the Dynamic Borromeo Sports Stadium in Talisay, in Cebu. And it is, as you see there, the home of Cebu Football Club. Sila po nag-host sa kanilang Copa Paulino Alcantara opener versus University of the Philippines. Nanalo po ang Cebu FC 2-0 dahil sa brace ni Chima Ozoka. Chima Ozoka with two goals returning from injury and it is good to see him back as he had to miss the entire second half of the Philippines Football League and you can continue to catch Cebu FC and your teams in the Copa Paulino Alcantara but all eyes here again as we preview the stars again the stars of tomorrow we will be showing you what's in store for the future of Philippine football. At huwag nyo kalimutan po, may Division 1 at Division 2 po tayo rito sa PFF U19 Boys National Championship. 
So, ito po ay ang Division 1 ngayon. Pwede nga natin sabihin, nasa final round or final four po tayo. Ito ay ang semi-finals. Earlier today, nanalo ang National Capital Region FA. 7-1 versus Panay FA. As we are close already to getting the march on to the pitch. Running through our match protocol as we bring you the continuing coverage of the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. Again, as we come to you from the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium, the home of Cebu FC. At ang mga team captain po natin dito, based sa ating team sheet, si Bacos Ekberg ay ang team captain ng Stallion FC. Si Simon Del Campo ay ang team captain ng Central Visayas RFA. Check na natin po ang match officials. Si John Mike Bas Basinang ay ang ating referee. Si La Segundo Saluria III and Michael Rojo ay ang linesman o assistant referee. Sila po ang in charge sa offside dito. Ang fourth official ay si Linjun Talaber. Ang referee assessor ay si Alan Martinez. At ang ating match commissioner ay si Warren Concepcion. And this is Caro Manzano on call for this match. Ang inyong commentator po. Yan po ang Stallion FT. Sila po ay naka-pink uniform, uh, pink uniform, pink t-shirt at black shorts at black socks. Okay. Iti-check nga natin syempre ang uniform ng Central Visayas RFA. As you see right there, naka-all green po sila ngayon. So, Stallion FC versus Central Visayas RFA, pink versus green. Saan po kayo? Pakilagay na lang sa comment section dito. Show your support to your team. Check na natin ang comment section. Kita nga natin. Nandito si Toto Bedia of Stallion FC. Senior player of Stallion FC. We also have Kaj Amirul watching this game of Central Visayas RFA who is with the U23 national team. They have their game later. 9pm ang kanilang laban po. Must win po yan para maka-advance ang Pilipinas sa knockout stages ng AFF U23. As we are close to kicking off this match already, it will be Central Visayas kicking this off. They will be playing from left to right. Stallion FC will be playing from right to left. It is Teo. Libarnes, ang kanilang lead man sa atake in the way of Libarnes, of course, is Stallion FC. And there is Libarnes, of course, in the way of the likes of Christian Jed Lauron and Stallion. And Libarnes kicked this match off. You can see the quick attitude of Central Visayas. And they got themselves quickly going on the left. And that looks like it is corner kick. 
number one of this match. So to take the corner kick will be Nathan Umareha. From the looks of it, it will be an in-swinger. He has John Vitualia there in case to play it short and bring out the defender. Ito na po ang cross. Laudon, some butter fingers. Job was only half done here. Opens up pa din ang Central Visayas RFA. This time across from the right wing. Looks like there's a shot taken off target. But you like that aggression dito sa Central Visayas RFA. And we'll take another look at what happened there. There was the cross from Soko. And a shot taken by one of their teammates. Ayan po si Jed Laurlon. Goal kick taken. But sent back through to Central Visayas RFA. Up to the chase. Hawakans tayo ng bola ngayon. So I was working in the middle. CVFA getting up slowly but surely. And eventually, they send the long ball dito. Sa kaliwa sila, nagmamadali. Outside ng tawag dito. Pero throw in lang po. Wala pong corner kick. And when we look at it, of course, they did have, or both teams did have a great amount of Great amount of lopsided victories in their favor, of course, and that allowed them to get to the stage. In the final rounds of the U19 national title, Lauron Benatorito, Stallion managed to get it. Ryan Lim, just that man on the left for them. Stallion switching it up. Hit nila kasi traffic kanina sa gitna. Nandito sila sa kanan. Will they cross? That's what they do. CPFA were not able to control that completely. Ito pa rin ang stallion. You see the, the stallion attack getting dispossessed. Ito na ang CPFA sa counter attack. And Lim to chase now. He has some space to operate. Still working his way inside. Dispossessed. At may pito po tayo. Mukhang may foul po tayo dun. Sabi ng ating referee. Ang ating referee po ulit ay si John Mike Basinang. Goalkeeper Mark Mayor to get this back underway. Now in the middle, Lamparas couldn't get it for them. He is their midfield man. Siya ang nasa gitna, o center mid. Pressure now from Stallion. Trying to force a mistake. It's given away by CVFA. At may tawag po tayo ulit. Possibly offside po ang tawag dito. another look at Mark Mayor. Of course, both goalkeepers will have to be on their A game today. The winner of this match will seal the final ticket to the finals for the national title. Earlier today, nakita natin manalo ang NCRFA 7-1 versus Panay FA. Matake pa rin ang Stallion. Pero ang kuwang kuwa dito ni Edgar Paredes. So looks like we'll try to clarify this. Mukhang corner kick po dito. First corner kick of the game for Stallion FC. 
we see the continuous support of both Stallion and Central Visayas RFA. Comment na rin yung mga favorite players niyo ho. Here comes the delivery, dealt with again by Edgar Paredes, but there's another ball put in by Stallion. But what clearance mula CVFA? Pinasa rito sa kanan mula kay Rafael Alhama. Here is CVFA trying to work on the counter. This match looking even in the beginning. Teams trying to attack already before feeling themselves out. May shot po rito pero off target mula kay Teo Libarnes. Second shot of the game for Central Visayas. Two shots of CVFA off target. But you want to get your shots going to, to get a feel for the game. Siyempre, para maka-warm up po. Lauron. Was looking to distribute and his teammates got it. He didn't seem to be going for a distance. He did show us his ability to distribute the ball in the group stages. Stallion were playing in Group A. Uh, CVFA naman sa Group B. Ang top 2 kada group ang naka-advance dito sa ating final round. Put up for grabs in the midfield. CVFA, their defense got beaten. But will this be their chance? Lim! It looks like that is off though. Let's try to get another look right there. That was brilliant from Joaquin Collio, a player we know who plays in the middle. Shot taken by Ryan Lim. Off target for them. Both teams looking dangerous in the attack already. Ang porito, will they be able to handle the heat? As they're charging in again here, the likes of Lauron to beat. But you just see the well-timed effort of the Stallion defense. Dito naman sa kanan ng Stallion. You see both teams bring a great amount of discipline. Stallion scoring 27 goals in Group A action as they were the best in their group in terms of offense. They did allow three goals to make them second best again in Group A. For CVFA, on the other hand, they had the best offense and defense in Group B as they finished as the top seed. Stallion did the second best team in Group A. And there was the whistle against Andre Gonzalez. Okay, Mayor. Pinasa rito sa kanyang kakampi. CVFA opting to play long. Ito po ulit. Stallion couldn't secure. CVFA just launching, getting numbers forward. Another cross. Handled by the defense well. But it's given away. They almost gave a gift there to Verside. Now on the counter. Stallion will look to answer back. Alhamag got this ball to the middle now. His teammates storming through in Gonzalez. Gonzalez, I believe, meg this man. Couldn't really make it 2 to beat, but he gets them a corner kick. So you can still see that's a success for their attack. But if you're the defense in CBFA there, delaying the attack, of course, is not a problem at all. So there is this corner kick to deal with. Kita, kita niyo po si Andre Gonzalez. Ito na ang corner kick. Mayor tried to get it but it was not clear. But looks like that's the opener. Stallion pouncing on the error. And you have to feel for Mark Mayor. He got the grip already on the ball. But a mistake allowed him to find the back of the net. The opener, ladies and gentlemen, and it looks like it is James Deterra. Goal for 
Pantera also a player with experience in the Well, try to clarify the goal scorer right there again. Again, Berlin for Stallion FC number 30, James Gabriel Di Terra. So there you go. Goal for James Di Terra. You got to clarify it on the ground. Another cross. We see the defense of CVFA is sharp in this game. It was just an unfortunate break that allowed, to, allowed Stallion to get that goal. Of course, in this high level, one mistake can just change the complex complexion of this match and will make your opponent pay. But of course, my oras parito. It's the first half, palang tayo. Sure, again, in Detera has experience in the Copa Palino or Cantra, bilang open competition po yan. May mga amateur players din kasama don. In the form of CVFA, they do have home field advantage. Their assistant coach, Angel Pintuan, did say that they have been training in this field in hopes of maximizing their familiarity. Ibarnes, pinasarito sa gitna. Knocking in those combinations. Gonzalez. You see now Stallion slowing the game down. Dahil uh, dun, lamang sila 1-0. It stays with them. It was poked away by CVFA. It was half cleared. CVFA will try to get up slowly but surely, but it's picked up by Stallion here. Like there's some um, pulling right there. No foul there, but a corner kick daw ang tawag. Third corner for Stallion FC. That was their first shot on target, and that allowed them to take control of this match. We have the likes of Joaquin Collier lining up. There's Lamparas, Vince to be exact, trying to give them a difficult time. Sobrang itong corner kick. It was cleared out by the CVFA defense. Throw in mula kay Alhama. Pero babalik ang bola rito sa Central Visayas RFA. Great throw in there. What an arm as they found Pumareha. CVFA trying to use the transition. Stallion have been succeeding from their play in the attacking half. He gets past one man here. He has space and tries to play it long. Pero sayang, walang kakampi po dun. Stallion will look to reset from the back. Sa gitna na ang bola sa midfield. Of course, if you want to control this match, you need to hold the midfield. Is that what's connect, that's what will connect offense to defense and the other way around. At my goal kick dito para kay Mayor. Mark Meyer trying to set his team up now. If we can take a look at the graduates, we can say, of the U19 National Championship here. We've had a great number who have made the transition to the collegiate ranks or the professional ranks, we can say. But the Ascals pwede nga natin sabihin. Stallion could not thread the needle. Kuhang kuha ng depensa ng CVFA. 
and the ball was under dispute for a while. Ekberg got dispossessed. A quarter of an hour o oh, pinsing minuto pa lang. Oh, ito na ang ating cooling break. Kita nga natin. Napakainit doon ngayon sa Cebu. Of course, these are precautions under the laws of the game. Whether you are a sports fan or not, athlete or not, it is important to stay hydrated to drink your eight glasses of water a day. As we take a look at some of the highlights, Stallion were knocking on the door after CBFA started quick. But there was the chance that gave them a goal. James Detera finding the back of the net, showing us his killer instinct up front. Mark Mayor read that corner kick well, but loose handles is what paved the way for Stallion to pounce and score, and they lead. 1-0. Pero kita nga natin, nasa first half pa lang tayo, so may oras pa rin ang CVFA para makagol. Siyempre gusto nila bumawi rito. We can say we have the finest of Stallions youth squaring off with the finest of the Central Visayas RFA. And we were talking about the graduates, of course, of the STARS of tomorrow in the U19 National Championship. We have Jed Lauron who is still playing in this age group, but he has already picked up experience in the senior team of Stallion Laguna. Ang kanyang kakampi, si Mark Dalibas, nasa Far Eastern University ngayon. The likes of Sam Alegre and Dominic Tomar with the University of Santo Tomas. Si Alegre, Taga Negros. Occidental. Kasama siya dun sa champion squad ng NOFA last year. This ball picked up by CVFA. Some scary moments there. We saw Windrill Soko, I believe, just apologizing. They could have done that better. Stallion, though, we could see we're not 100% in that situation, but they just got the job done. CBFA getting confidence now, playing through the middle. Lauron off his line, will this be the equalizer? That's good! Game on here! And the crowd approves it. Of course, this is the home of Central Visayas RFA. Take a look at it right here. Combination. Pumareha got it forward. Lauron, the loose handles. Finding the goal, I believe is Vitualia. Of course, we have the long list of scorers for Central Visayas RFA from the group stage all the way up to this. Offense, never a question. CVFA are the best in offense and defense in Group B play. And again, it's on crossover not in the semis. There was Ryan Lim dispossessed. The ball into the area. Mayor punched it out. Half cleared. Stallion still trying to pounce now. Nasi Gonzalez. Dumapa. At mukang may free kick po rito sa labas ng ating goalkeeper box. Stallion getting to answer back right away. Sabi, ni, sabi ng ating referee, may foul po doon. See the sense of urgency of Stallion. Pictured are Andan and Colio stepping up to the plate. Five man wall to beat. CVFA just got level in about the 19th minute. Just behind John Carlos de Tualia. He cancelled out the goal of De Terra. But here's a chance for Stallion. Taken. Almost sent to the parking lot by Andan from the looks of it. 
the home crowd trying to get in their head. Months back, we did see a close or two close fought battles between Cebu FC and Stallion FC. Mr. Tassi and Coach Nieres have both agreed. Naging rivalry na po ang Stallion versus Cebu sa senior level. Pwede nga natin sabihin, ito, ito na po ang ating rivalry sa U19 level. He got it over to Lim. Lim binalik sa kanyang kakampi. Alhama is playing left back. Trying to switch it up. Stalin on the right. They have been looking to use the width of the pitch on their attack in the left, right, and center. The same can be said about CVFA in the beginning, going for the wings. But they managed to find their goal through the middle. This game all to play for the lone ticket to the, the finals that will take place on Thursday. Lim using the space and found a teammate. Well, offside pong tawag dun. for grabs in the middle. Stallion succumbing to the pressure of Central Visayas. See Central Visayas, they have been utilizing their throw-ins to get forward. Here's Limo has been active for them in the midfield. They are going to ball to switch. Kita nga nila may oportunidad dun sana. Oh, CVFA ng una. Not wide to Lim, who's been all over the place in this game, trying to get past his man. CVFA doing well to defend as a unit. That's mainly how we've been seeing the mass of late. Here's a chance now on the counter. Numbers not in their favor. They get past one man. The defense recovers. They're going for Le Barnes. A handful of goals in the group stage, and he is down. Lim Binalikai Alhama. Mama de Leang Stallion. Chance on the transition. Will this make it to one? And it is just off the far post inches away close but not quite for them and there was a chance you saw the likes of lingatong doing enough to make it difficult for the stallion attacker Mayor to resume play. And we carry on with the list of graduates we mentioned earlier from this national championship. The likes of Mark Alipon also from NOFA. They jump now to Far Eastern University in the collegiate ranks. But is Noti Nunez din naka naka askals po siya. At miyembro po siya ngayon ng U23 Ascals sa AFF U23 Tournament sa Thailand. Must win ang laro po mamaya. Mas laro ang punch their away. Nakuha ng kanyang kakampi. CBFA just swarming them. You love that discipline of theirs. All their, or all their players getting back into formation to make it difficult and cause traffic.
fairly even game in the first 15 minutes. CVFA working on the counter. And the same can be said now, 25 minutes into the first half against Stalin in their pink and black. CVFA naka all green po sila. This is the semifinals of the U19 Boys National Championship, the Philippine Football Federation. As this was picked up by Mayor, he managed to coordinate well with Lingatong, I believe. Lingatong. Soko. And this team made in the further end now, trying to start a foot race. Pero nakuha ng stallion. CVFA answering back quickly though. Taken. Clockwork play here to get forward. The CVFA defense is hard to beat as they take a shot that is off. Looks like someone got a touch to it at corner kick point. Tawag dito. Fourth corner of the match already for Stallion. Central Visayas RFA with one. Both with three shots already. Just a matter of getting them on target as there's a chance ball bounce in front of the goal mouth. CVFA did well to defend, but this this spell will continue. Across. Looks like that was Del Campo who got it. He's picked up with Mayor. He's getting confident in this game and is growing into it. CVFA in that midfield log jam, but they escape. Binatorito. One shot on target for Stallion in this game will, with CBFA getting a, a pair already. And to show for that, we are one apiece. We're catching this on the Facebook and YouTube pages of the Philippine Football Federation. Paki-share na lang ang ating stream at like. Paki-follow na rin po ang ating page. And this is Clara Manzan on call for this match. We're glad to have you with us. Salamat po sa inyong support. And there's a chance in front. No good. It's sent off target by Stallion, courtesy of Joaquin Colio. The promising delivery. Kita na natin mula kay Rafael Alhama. There's Mark Mayor. Considerable distance on the kick, but Stallion get it back now. Gonzalez. Let me discard this. Kaliwa. Pero wala po ang kanyang tira. Ay, that is now the fifth shot taken for them. Kita nga natin, nandun sila Bear City, pero nakulosot si Gonzalez. And if we review the standings, we start off with CVFA. Sila po ay, as a group B, no, ating group stages. CVFA with five wins as they top their group. Panay FA with three wins, two losses. And they are headed to the battle for third, which will take place on Thursday. Zambifa with two wins, two losses, and one draw. I see here CVFA working forward. CVFA pa rin. Nagmamadali sila. 
pinasa pero mukhang nakuha ng depensa ng stallion si Ekberg isang central defender nila stallion have just shown their great tactical ability CVFA show great discipline on defense and teamwork Lamparas will try to get the midfield going again there's the effort to build up from the back. They got it over to Soko. Soko out wide. Kai Berside. And it stays with CVFA. Mukha may throw in po sila. Pero unang una may cooling break. Number two po tayo. Looks like we are having cooling breaks every 15 minutes as... Players are competing under the sweltering heat. Kahit nasa rainy season po tayo, mahalaga po siyempre, uminom po kayo ng tubig. And we were running through the standings as we have some highlights to take you through. In Group B, some Difa came, came out as third again with two wins, two losses, and a draw. Same can be said for St. Morpha with two wins, two losses, and a draw. Pero lamang dun ang Zantifa sa goal difference. Ang Davao South RFA ay may one win at four losses. At ang Soxygen RFA ay five losses sa kanilang five games. Over in Group A, that was completed. And CRFA went undefeated to top their standings with 15 points. And the second place po dun ay ang Stallion FC. Four wins and one loss. Natala po sila sa NCRFA. And then we have Sel Marfa coming in at third with three wins and two losses. Nofa unable to defend their title. But they did finish a credible fourth place. Two wins, three losses po sila dun. Laguna and Mimaropa at the bottom with four losses each and one draw. Pero fourth place or uh, fifth place, sorry, ang Laguna sa tiebreaker. Dahil mas maganda ang kanilang goal difference contra Mimaropa. So close to resuming play again after the cooling break. Pangalawang cooling break po yun so far ngayong first half. We are level. James Deterra found the opener for Stallion as Vitualia found the back of the net for CPFA to answer back. That is John Vitualia. Correct. Offense not a problem here. This will be a high octane match. Both teams have shown their high level of play. It's just a matter of getting one inch over the other. CVFA will try to come out strong heading out of that cooling break. Parang timeout na din ang cooling break na yan po. Siyempre, nag-uusap din sila sa bench habang uminom sila ng tubig. Stallion still haven't been able to deal with the CVFA attack. Central Visayas were persisting there, but it is picked up on the counter. Dete era. Detera pa rin. Masok sa gitna. At ang tanong dito, sino nakagol sa CVFA? Si John Vitual yung nakagol po para sa kanila. In about the 19th minute. At yan po ang foul. Kaya may free kick po ang Stallion FC. And again, you're catching this game on the Facebook and YouTube pages ng Philippine Football Federation. Okay, like at subscribe na rin po sa ating page. It's PFF U19 Boys National Championship action. This is taken. Easily picked up by the keeper. Pero mukhang may konting banggaan po dun. Mukhang nagalit dun si Lingatong. Isang stallion player, mukhang si Ekberg po posible kasi binangga niya ang goalkeeper na si Mark Mayor. 
Dahil, dahil doon may yellow card po ang stallion. Ito po ang nangyari. May konting gulang doon mula kay Ekberg. And again, you are catching this match that is being played at the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium in Talisay, Cebu. A lovely facility with an artificial turf and brilliant locker rooms. This is where Cebu FC and the University of the Philippines played their Copa Palino Alcantara match. Nanalo po ang Cebu doon 2-0 mula kay Chima Ozoka. Si Ozoka nakadalawang goal po doon. So the winner here will be advancing to the finals. If we are tied, we will have extra time and the dreaded penalty shootout. Penalties will be a lottery. Pero alam nga natin, nakaka-stress ang penalty shootout sa mga supporters. This one under dispute earlier. They throw this one forward. They could not meet Libarnes. Pero ito pa rin, atake pa ang CBFA. Wait, throw in po sila. There's still a ball in the pitch, but not interfering with play. And here's the cross. The Stallion defense dealing with it. Ball intercepted in the middle, though. We did mention earlier, Kula ang stallion dahil sa U23 national team. Pag natin kalimutan, let's not forget, wala si Kaj Amirul ng CVFA. Isang youth national team player din. Kasama po si Amirul doon sa U23 Athcals sa uh, AFF Championship. Amirul also set to play with Cebu in the Copa Paulino Alcantara, but he is up for national team Jyoti, of course. It's great to see players serving the country. Ascos development team or former Ascos development team player din po siya. Nakilala natin si Amirul sa Philippines Football League. And again, we are catching the stars of tomorrow. They will be joining, or these are the players who will be joining their kuyas sa ating pro ranks. Sa kolehiyo. Pero ito ang stallion. I believe this is Lim taking it. Shot taken. And it is picked up by the keeper. Second shot on target for stallion. Mayor settled into this game already. Lauron, the less busy keeper. He has been activated a number of times already. But mainly it has been on long balls in the edge of the box, not really intercepting crosses. Ekberg, naghanap ng kakampi. Alhama, binatorito. Ball rattled around. Not enough to call or warrant a handball call. CVFA trying to get out of the back. The long ball connecting with Libarnes. Libarnes, lovely through ball. Two players to chase. Tackle from behind. Malinis daw yan, sabi ng ating referee. That was Wendrel Soko playing on the right wing for them. Siyempre, shout out din sa ating mga viewers as they send in a cross. Lauron catching that easily and just towering above his, his counterpart. Here's what happened. Ampara sent it in. And Lauron at a towering 6-3. You can see, Libarnes is a tall player himself too. He's trying to get that through a header. 
the Barnes again. A pair of hat tricks in the group stage for Simorfa and Panay. He also had a brace versus versus Sandifa. Lahat po yun sa group stage nila, kaya nasa semis po tayo ngayon. Stallion on the right. They favor the left a lot as of late. CDFA have been using their stingy defense to work on the counter. Kita nga natin ang kanilang disiplina sa pag-defensa. Alhama takes it on target but not enough power to trouble the keeper. Well, here's a man down for CVFA. Try to confirm who's that exact player. Pero malapit na po tayo sa, sa halftime. Four minutes na lang at may added time na tayo. At yan po ang kanilang goal scorer, si John Vitualia. We do not want to lose him in this game. Shout out Kai Nichols, a comment section. Lemuel Owano also enjoying the action. We have some PFL and Copa players watching this game also. So then, Silas Stephen, sorry, I'm okay with Bakon, mga idol natin sa FEU. Nanonood ng game via live stream. Magandang hapon, maayong hapon. Good afternoon also to Pat Mendoza. Ito naman sa kaliwa. Andre Gonzalez got it over to Colio. Pero nakuha ng Central Visayas. Ito na po sila sa counter-attack. Napakadelikado sila sa transition. At ito, ito na, binato. At nakuha ni Christian Jed Lauron. No subs to be used, but we expect to see those in halftime or in the second half. Mga coaches na natin ay sila Richard Leble para sa Stallion at Glenn Ramos para sa Central Visayas RFA. Siyempre, mga veterano o experienced coaches po sila. At ito na ang Stallion, naka one touch po sila noong una. Pero nakuha rito. O sobra ang pasa, sorry. Throw-in ang tawag daw dito para sa Stallion. Ito na po. They switched it over, over to Alhama. Stallion going left, right, and center in their possession play. CVFA. Tumitiskarte sa counter-attack. Ginagamit ang kanilang depensa. The cross from Alhama. CVFA dealt with it well. But as a result of having to defend as a unit, Stallion will recycle. See the quick action from CVFA trying to swarm the possession play. Stallion's clockwork technical style of play is what got them to Division 1. Both teams actually last year, sa 2022 po. La Rosa, Division 2 ng ating U19 Boys National Championship. Ang Stallion ay ang winner po ng Luzon at ang CVFA ay ang runner-up sa Vismin leg. And quite an achievement to make it right away to the final round in your first season after promotion. Ito na po ang Stallion. Magmamadali sa gitna. Kahit traffic doon, pabor ang CVFA. Nakuha nila. Gonzalez, dumidiscarte. Cleared off well by the defense that appeared to be Lingatong. CVFA could not get forward though. Poked out. Shout out to Edwin Dagdagan. Taga Cagayan de Oro City daw po. We apologize if we are having or, 
And we apologize for the technical difficulties. Bali, four minutes of additional time ang uh, kinonform po ng ating court official, si Lin Jun Talaver. CVFA, as a result of this, now have a chance to work their offense. Long ball, pero kita nila. Walang makatulong kahit tayo li Barnes. Siya po ang kanilang striker. Ito naman ang stallion sa kanan. St stallion still getting through. They cut it back. A gutsy slide. Central of Isaias, they are continuing to hold on. Again, if we are tied, we'll go to extra time. Pero nasa first half pa lang tayo po. So pagkatapos ng halftime break, may 45 minutes po tayo. And here was that collision between Vitualia fouling a man. Looks like that was Lucas Andan who was decked. We see the quick play now of Stallion FC working forward. Ang Stallion po ulit, naka pink at black. Ang CBFA naka green uniforms. Ang Central Visayas RFA. Detera scored for Stallion in the 10th minute. Nine, nine minutes later, we did have Vitualia score. Gonzalez got it out wide to his teammate Alhama. Alhama pa rin. Now to cut it back, CVFA were in the path of that ball. Ito sila sa counter attack sana. Slowly but surely, they throw it to their man forward. The danger of the counter attack, of course, is that you can just pounce on a sudden mistake. Shout out kay sila Mary Garcia. Shout out all the way from Singapore po sila. Ito ulit si Gonzalez. Gonzalez off. No good for them. Was trying to go for the far post. A whopping eight shots on target. For Stallion FC, three or eight shots taken and three on target for them. Three shots taken from CVFA, two of them on target. Pero kita nga natin, one all ang ating score ngayon. Who will secure the second touch? That's with Central Visayas. We have... Philly Amila watching from Surigao del Norte. Good afternoon, Pop. Eckberg working forward. He is a defender for them here. Stallion trying to stretch the CVFA defense, making them work. Try to force an error from the other. Long ball in. Nakuha ng depensa ng Central Visayas. Ito, ito naman daw sa kanan. The early cross. Mayor doing well to control that as we are level 1 all at the halftime break. It is Stallion FC 1. Mula kay James Detera. Central Visayas. RFA 1. Level again. It was the heroics of John Vitualia who got them back into this game. As it is the halftime break, of course. Don't you forget, wag nyo kalimutan. My second half pa tayo sa semi finals. Kung tide po tayo, my extra time at possibly maka penalty shootout po tayo. So do stay tuned, of course, and we'll be back for updates.
Tunggu na ko itong panay itong ano yun, ang CR APR? Ano? Tapos? Dagmay ko ito itong panay? Ah, dagmay ko ito itong panay. Dagmay ko ito itong panay. Dagmay ko ito itong panay. Ah, madungo ba? Ah, sorry, sorry.
Juan Joaquin Antonio Collio. We apologize if we are having any technical difficulties here. There's a whistle again. So Laurent to resume play for us. So again, Stallion with the 2-1 lead now. They are in the driver's seat of this game. Clearance. Central Visayas trying to up the intensity of this match. They are chasing the game again. But we have seen them come back already in this game once. Will it be a second time? That will have to be the case if they want to book 
a ticket to the finals. Pero nakuha ng depensa ng Stallion. But it is sent to no man's land. Looks like they were not on the same page with Detera, who was playing on the right wing for them. And we see in the comment section people looking for Jack Spenya. This is his team, Stallion, but he is not playing due to U23 national G team duty. Laxon, Santos, Peña, Chungid, Karaig are not around for Stallion FC. That is a U23 national team duty spot sa AFF. And here's a chance up front. His control slightly letting him down. I believe it was Libarnes. Stallion storming through. CVFA making amends. Nakabawi sila dun sa depensa. Eckberg binigay kay Detera. At ang tanong din dito, sino ang bibigay? Dahil sa pagod. They gave it over to Bengson. In the middle. Switching it up dahil traffic kanina sa gitna at sa kanan. The low cross. Bouncing in front of goal mouth, Mayor did not get it, but was upset with his defense. But they escape. Stallion knocking on the door and want an insurance goal. CVFA trusting it, their process and trying to pounce on the counter. So it looks like we have a slight delay. But we do see the bench of Stallion has been emptied. All their subs warming up. Apat lang po ang substitution ng Stallion. Puno naman ang bench ng Central Visayas. All 11 spaces sa kanilang bench nandun po as this shot goes out and about. A roll of the dice here for Central Visayas. All will not be lost here for the losing team. Huwag niya kalimutan po. My battle for third po tayo. August 24 ng 8 a.m. Pagkatapos, ang 2 p.m. Ang finals po ay 2 p.m. The winner of this match will be squaring off with NCRFA. Trying to storm through the middle and slice the defense. Paredes. Fantastic control there to find his teammate. But there's some pressure. Just picked up. Umareha. And Paras tried to get it briefly. Paredes. Trying to kickstart their offense here. He found the teammate. May baggan po tayo rito. Wala pang pito. At ayan ho. Sabi na na ating referee, may foul. Third foul on uh, Central Visayas already. In this match, at ayan na po, may substitution tayo. 
Ang isa po doon na lalabas ay si Edgar Paredes, isang defender ng CBFA. So there are our substitutions confirmed. Jimenez, Cueva, and Garces check in for CVFA as Coach Glenn Ramos will try to change up the complexion of this match. With a, a player down here for Central Besayas. He appears to be okay. That was John Jimenez. Checked into the game right away and got bodied up. <laughs> Trying to thread the needle here. The stallion defense recovered. Clearance from the back. Letera, will this be another goal for him and Stallion? A collision, may banggan, pero walang foul. I believe that was Cueva who ran into Letera at binigay niya rito kay Jimenez. Jimenez slowly but surely injecting life here in hopes of staging a comeback. But Andre Gonzalez sent this ball to no man's land. Lindley Cueva collects. Mayor. An ill advised pass here. Gifts possession back. Central Visayas again are the hosts of the final round as we are playing in the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium, the home of Cebu FC, professional, a professional side in the Philippines Football League. So. The loser of today's match will square off with Panay FA in the battle for third. And in the finals, we do have NCRFA in the eventual winner squaring off. There will also be a meet and greet with Philippine women's national team players, Haley Long and Ina Palacios, who will be there to grace the occasion and do follow the Philippine Football Federation for updates. So my social media pages po natin. As Jan Donato checks in. Throw in from deep. CVFA displaying the sever, getting their numbers back. Kolya trying to cross and be the provider. You got this ball in traffic now. Sa kabila naman daw, sabi nila. Still Stallion. CVFA get it now. Trying to unlock or re release themselves on the counter. At ito na. The foot race. Ball up for grabs. But it is getting towards the goalkeeper box. And the attacking end of Cebu. It is the danger zone. Stallion now will have to defend. So again, no Kaj Amirul for Central Visayas RFA as he is on national team duty. We also have the likes of Lacson Santos, Peña, Chung, and Karaig for, for the U23 team from Stallion. It's great to see, of course, these two squads supporting the national team cause. Don't you forget, my Laropo ang Pilipinas mamaya sa AFF U23. A must win for the Philippines in hopes of advancing to the knockout rounds. That's against Vietnam as here is a header put over the crossbar for Central Visayas. And that was our man who tried to get the shot on target. Sabi niya, may tulak daw. It was by Le Barnes, of course. Their man up front with his 
imposing physique, two hat tricks in the group stage. Christian Jed Lauron eventually to take this. A member who picked up vital experience in the national, in the senior squad of Stallion. So again, a correction. We'll get to it a bit later on. And to add to the members of Stallion missing, there's Inigo Castro, their keeper. Well, here's a chance finding the back of it. End. The insurance goal for Stallion. CVFA unfortunately giving it away. Andre Gonzalez making them pay. And here was that play. Diagonal ball slicing the defense. Nakita nila dito. Makante ang kaliwa. Gonzalez, lovely individual work. Sending it past Mayor. Three goals here. Three different goal scorers for Stallion FC. As we have another cooling break and it is tougher Central Visayas as they have a man down in the center circle. Kita nga natin po dun. And let's hope that he is okay and will be able to continue in this match. So cooling break po tayo ulit. Para sa ating players, kita natin napakainit po dun sa Talisay in Cebu. Stay hydrated of course. And we run through the groups again. For Group A, NCRFA and Stallion, Stallion FC did top their side of the table. Kaya nasa semifinals po sila. Sa Group B naman, ang top two teams ay ang Central Visayas at ang Panay FA. Kaya may crossover semifinals po tayo rito. Should we be tied after this match, we will head on to extra time and penalty shootouts. As we take a look at that goal once more. Andre Gonzalez just slicing the defense and sending it into the back. So we will resume play already after the cooling break. Players, of course, staying hydrated. Don't you forget to stay hydrated too, of course. Sa ating viewers, kahit nakaupo lang po kayo, sigurado po ako, pinapawisan po kayo dahil sa init dito sa buong Pilipinas. As Coach Ernie Nieras did confirm our list to us of players missing for Stallion. There's Caleb Santos, Inigo Castro, Jack Spenia. There's Joshua Merino and Gian Caray. My Kaja Merun naman sa Central Visayas RFA. Si Amirul ay ang kuya dito sa kanilang squad bilang defender. At dahil sa kanilang experience, Central Visayas now compact looking to break this attack again. But who will secure Stallion continuing to press on? Offense still chugging for them. CVFA as a unit trying to show their resiliency. The cross from Alhama finding a teammate taking it on target looks like that came off the crossbar after Mayor got his gloves to it. Chance on the counter now. The Barnes try to take it on his own. 3 1 again. Vitwali the scorer for Central Visayas. Detera, Colio, Gonzalez naman. Para sa Stallion. 
this game opening up. Stallion trying to counter attack too as CVFA are getting or are showing a sense of urgency. It, dito naman sa kanan, binigay kay Lamparas. Again, their wizard in the midfield. We'll try to kickstart the game. They've, they've trailed. They trailed once in the first half. They're trailing again, but they showed that they can come back. Kita natin kanina. one on lang score. Both squads again showing their tremendous path. And we can see that process started last year in Division 2 as that bounces off. Throw in para sa Central Visayas. Heroes is attacking spell earlier. It was put on target by Ryan Lim. Pero nakuha ni Colio. Pero tumama sa crossbar, pero no goal doon. Close but not quite. Stallion again in Central Visayas getting promoted from Division 2 last year. Stallion winning the Luzon leg of Division 2. Central Visayas, runner-up naman po sa ating Vismin stage. At huwag niyo kalimutan, may Division 2 pa rin tayo, which is ongoing as they try to get this over. Goal kick ang tawag, outside, outside po. That shot was taken, of course. It was out and about by Versile, but great effort. You cannot question the heart, of course, with what they are displaying. Central Visayas now taking the initiative of the attack. It looks like they're safe. Oh, outside pala, tawag, sorry. So, with Division 1 again, the home performing teams who will be relegated. Dalawa mula Luzon ang babagsak po sa Division 2. May dalawa naman mula this Vismin. One team each from Luzon and Vismin will get promoted para sa 2024 Boys National Championship naman po yan. Pero dahil naka semifinals ang Stallion, Central Visayas, NCRFA at Panay FA, Safe po sila. It's a Division 1 po sila next year. As they play this ball through, Lauron off his line, hoping to beat Le Barnes. And it looks like there was a bump right there. We could not get a clear picture. But Lauron holding on to his head. And he is hobbled. We'll Try to take another look. It may have been Jimenez who collided. That is correct. It was Jimenez. Jimenez colliding his foot, getting in the way unintentionally. Kita natin sumasori siya kay Christian Jed Lauron, taga Sox Sergeant in the previous national championships again. Ang kakampi niya is sa doon si Mark Nadivas. Um, parang pwede natin suwi, nakagraduate sa U19. Kilala, kilala rin natin sila, sila Sam Alegre ng NOFA, Dominic Tom ng NCRFA. Parehas na sa UST na po sila, Mark Alipon of NOFA with FEU. Naughty Nunez with NCR FA also. May mga international appearances po siya sa ASCALS, sa senior team at U23 team. So play is underway. Christian Jed Lauron is fine. Wala pong subkeeper ang stallion po. Huwag niyo kalimutan. So a free kick given up in a lovely area. Central Visayas. We'll try to pull a rabbit out of that. Will this be the start of a comeback? Lauron punched it out. Picked up by Lim. Lim has been all over the place in defense and attack. We see his teammate Donato who came on as a sub earlier. Donato pa rin. Binalik kay Lim Lim. Papasa sana kay Gonzalez. Combinations connecting for Central Visayas. Try to knock on the door. Someone taking a fall. 
Pero foul daw dito contra Central Visayas. And their crowd disapproving of that home game po ito. Ang Central Visayas. Sila po ang hosts dito. At yan po ang dahilan ng foul nakita po natin. There was the outstretched arm. Other than our finals in Battle for Third on Thursday. Huwag niyo kalimutan po, may, U20, may, may laro po ang U23 Astros versus Vietnam. Mamaya po yan at 9pm. Search mo yung ating live stream po doon as they get this shot taken. Looks like that's good. They pull one back. It looks like it is. We're well, trying to get a clear look. It is Garces, the substitute, sparking their efforts. Game on. They got the next goal, which is the most important one. Keeping the fire alive in this game. What an attempt. Lauron flat footed. So Garces again, he's scorer off the bench. 3 to 2. Five goals total in this game, five different goal scorers. And it is no surprise because these teams have been able to fill the team sheet with goals. They have had a great number of one side or lopsided victories over their counterparts just to show their class. And we are referring to both squads, of course. Five shots for Central Visayas. And they've converted and found two goals. Stallion taking eight. And as a result, they have three goals. The Barnes got this over to Garces. Kita nga natin, may dagdag alas dito sa harap dahil kay Garces. The Barnes couldn't keep it in. Close but not quite. Sayang ang oportunidad para sa Central Visayas. Seven remaining until additional time. Kung tabla po tayo rito, huwag niyo kalimutan. May extra time po tayo. Kung Kung type po rin ang ating score after extra time, may penalty shootouts dahil semifinals po ito ng PFF U19 Boys National Championship. At magandang hapon, maayong hapon po sa inyong lahat. Salamat sa inyong suporta dito. Sa Philippine football, syempre. We're catching this game on the Facebook and YouTube pages of the Philippine Football Federation. Okay, like, share, at subscribe na lang po. At ito, binato. It looks like Lamparas couldn't reach that. Di discarte pa rin ang stallion. At kita nga natin si, si Gonzales na hulog at may corner kick po ang um, stallion FC. This one to be taken on the left. Two players stepping up there. You see Ventura who will look to to hamper their progress. Then to another sub who checked in earlier. Well, bouncing out, sent to safety by Garces. 2 1 1 po halos dun. Pinasa dito. Si Bengson ang pinasa dito kay si Lim. Pero ito po siya. Central Visaya storming through now. They still get their offense going. Now on the right, who will be able to support Verside? He had a brace from the looks of it in one of their group stage games. We saw the hit there. A man was down for Central Visayas as Verside couldn't get forward. It looks like it is team captain of Central Visayas, Simon Del Campo, who is down from what we saw in the replay. Ang masakit daw doon sa tingin natin ay ang kanyang tuhod. 
their team captain who was brought them through this game and was instrumental along with the entire defense in sparking a comeback. So if you review the scorers again for Stallion and Central Visayas RFA, we'll get to that in a bit as we have a sub. For Nathan De Ocampo of Stallion FC will step off for Gabriel Tupas. You see this on the replay. That was the goal of Central Visayas. What an absolute rocket taken. We are pleased to announce that the attendance for today's match is 211 spectators. Thank you very much. There you go, over 200 in the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium to catch the action. And some an incredible number considering that this is a weekday. As there's also a man down here or a stallion. It might be Dale Campo who was stubbed off because we do see or mention again another man was down for Central Visayas and their skipper. Here was the goal from Gonzalez. We recap again, Betera of Stallion and Vitualia of Central Visayas exchanged goals before Joaquin Collio gave Stallion a 2-1 lead. Andre Gonzalez made it 3-1 with what you saw. Tapos na pag goal si Joseph Garces. Kaya 3-2 ang ating score po ngayon. 12 minutes remaining in normal time or in regulation before we get into additional time. Kung tabla po ang ating score, may dalawang 15-minute periods po tayo to break this deadlock. Kung tayo po rin ang ating score pagkatapos ng extra time, may penalty shootouts po tayo. The winner of this game between Stallion and Central Visayas will square off with NCRFA, who did defeat Panay FA 7-1 earlier today. Kaninang alas 8 ng umaga. As here's a chance now, banggaan dito kay sila Bercide at Donato. Central Visayas supporters not happy with that call. And we can hear it from them. You see the frustration from Gian Renzo Custado thereafter. Because he was the man that judged or with a player in the vicinity. I believe he is not the man slapped with a foul. At yan na po. Three players stepping up. We have Saludes and Colio from the looks of it. May konting tulakan. Kita nga natin doon. O Stallion Padder League. O makaka-counter na kaya ang Central Visayas mamaya off the wall. And Mayor picked it up. Trying to thread the ball. Nakuha ng Stallion. This has been relatively back and forth here. Central Visayas also with time getting forward in the attacking half. Stallion have resorted to some counter-attacking also throughout this second 45 minutes. At mukhang offside po ang tawag dito. Long ball forward. Trying to test the defense. Nakuha ni Lauron. Looks like Lauron took a hit here. But he is receiving a warning. We'll look at the instant replay. Looks like that was a brush according to the instant replay 
Romle Barnes not really getting a piece on Jed Lauron. Kaya may warning si Christian Jed Lauron mula kay referee John Malik Basina. At ang mga assistant referees niya ay sila Segundo Saloria III, Michael Rojo. Ang fourth official ay si Lin Jun Talaber. Ang referee assessor ay si Alan Martinez. At si Mr. Warren Concepcion ay ang match commissioner. And this is Para Manzano on call for this match. Ang inyong commentator po. Stalin trying to get it, but it bounces in front of the goal. Last touch, Stalin, Central Visayas with a throw in from deep. Yan po ang nangyari. The likes of Lily Cueva getting the job done. We see CBFA resorting to the long ball. Le Barnes. Le Barnes pa rin. Pinasa sa kanya kakampi. Pero wala ang kanilang tira. Six shots already here for Central Visayas. Sorry, okay. At ito po. Shot taken from Francis Perside. Who continues to be the man down. Great sportsmanship. sportsmanship. Shown right there. Perside with a limp. And we'll try to walk this off. You have to love the effort he has put in in this game, of course. Stallion dictating the game. And they've managed to recover momentum that they would lose. Central Visayas, though, showing heart. As they continue to trail, they did get to catch up earlier. And have to pull it, wrap it out of their heart. Lauron getting this goal kick underway. Pero pumingpong ang bola. May throw in ang Stallion. Last touchdown, CPFA. It's the best offense in Group A versus the best offense in Group B. Stallion, taga Group A po sa group stage. Central Visayas, taga Group B. Central Visayas with the best defense. Only letting in two goals. Number two pong Stallion sa Depensa sa group play. Conceding three goals. So Alistair Manloso and the subs checking in as here's the this central Visayas attack. Pero wala po. Babalik ang bola sa stallion. Lovely through ball. Bola kay Jimenez. That ball a little overcooked though but it in, that through ball making the defense work. Six minutes remaining until additional time. Stallion looking to take the final ticket to the sem semifinals to face NCRFA. Should that happen, that will be a rematch between the top teams of Group A. The loser here will be facing Panay FA in the battle for third. So, wag nyo kalimutan po, as here's another chance now. PVFA with their numbers. Ball switched up now. Wala kay Custado. Kanan naman daw. The cross. Headed out. Central Visayas now. We're trying to take... Or dictate play by the horns, banggaan, pero walang pito po, sabi ng ating referee, o walang foul dun. Two players down for Stalin, one gets up. Ito na po sila si Jimenez, nagmamadali sa gitna. Getting past one, Get, makes it three, makes it four. At may foul dito mula kay player number 25, Lim. What a run there. We are sure the scouts from PFL or collegiate teams Got to witness that. A set piece in within shooting proximity. 
Mateo Libarnes. No goals to show here, but he has been chugging and pushing the Central Visayas offense. A pair of hat tricks and a great number of goals. More than a handful in the group stage. Will he level this? The target man up front for them. There's a three-man wall to beat and keeper Christian Jed Lauron of Stallion FC. Yan na po ang ating pito. Umira, pero nakuha ni Lauron. Shot on target, but it was not enough to bother the keeper. A shot lacking in some power. As they get this forward, offside daw dito. Sabi ng ating linesman, pangapat na offside na po yan ng Stallion FC. No offsides for... Central Visayas in this match by our count. Half. Playback underway quickly now. Del Campo got forward. Ang kanilang team captain. Nasa kaliwa ang bola. Two minutes until additional time. We have a stoppage of play here. We'll try to clarify or get a picture of that. And at mokang my double substitution po ang stallion. Ang nakita ko po doon, papasok si Florendo at Chavez. Tama po yan. Ang isa pong lalabas ay si Andre Gonzalez. Naka isang goal na po siya. Kailangan lang natin i-claro yung pangalawang player na lalabas po rito. Chance now! TVFA, bodies taking a fall. Seems like they were pleading for a penalty, but no call. Great find to the side by Maui from the looks of it, who is one of the subs who entered the game. So, Loredo and Chavez again checked in for a stallion earlier. I believe it was Saludes, and Gonz Saludes who joined Gonzalez in stepping off from this game. With another man down for Central Visayas. Drive your team on in the comments section. Who can you know? Kayo rito, pakilagay na lang. Stallion FC o Central Visayas FA. Stallion close to sealing the final semi final ticket. <laughs> o pangalawang ticket po sa semi finals. Central Visayas FA desperate to extend this match and pick up at least one more goal. Seven minutes of additional time daw po ang kinonfirm ni referee Linjo Talaver. So all to play for here. And what has been a nail-biter for us. Stalia Laguna in pink. Central Desayas FA in green. Namang po ang Stallion 3-2. Ang mga nakagol po ulit sa Stallion ay sila Detera, Colio at Gonzalez. Sila Vitualia at Garces naman para sa Central Visayas FA. And what has been a tightly contested affair here as sure given fans who want to enjoy at my foul dito. Nahulog po si Donato. So an attacking chance in the middle for Stallion FC. Huwag nyo kalimutan, may laro po ang U23 Ascals sa AFF Championship contra Vietnam. Philippines versus Vietnam, 9pm po, Philippine Standard Time po yan. 
Philippines with a must-win situation in hopes of advancing to the semifinals. At ito na po ang free kick ng Stallion. Ekberg took it, recovered. There is Lamparas to chase. Ball on the left wing now. CBFA desperate to get a stop. Stallion at least want to hold up play. Dahil doon, may free kick po ulit dito. Nasa kaliwa naman po ito. Again, the bottom teams in the first division are going to get relegated. But teams here competing, of course. Are in the finals and are safe in Division 1. Play as here's a chance. Header bounced in front. Still in play. Pero mo ang outside na daw ang tawag. In the ongoing second division of the PFF U19 Boys National Championship. One team from Luzon. And one team, mga sa Vismin, ang makakapromote o mapapromote po rito. Maganda rito, may promotion at relegation po tayo. So Mayor continued play and gave it to his back line. Binato rito. Desperation time for Central Visayas. Mayor off his line. Headed it, but who will secure? But he got his line covered already. And they switch it up to Lim. Lim. Lim pa rin nagmamadali. And it is read well by Mayor. Great effort from the defense to get or change up the attack. Central Visayas getting numbers down quickly. Si Ventura nagmamadali. Clearance came off of Ventura and into the gloves of Lauron. Lauron will look to kill any momentum and understandably take some time off. Lauron has gotten to play, of course, in races game with the likes of Patrick Dato, ang kakabay niya sa PFL. Pero wala lang po si Patrick Dato doon. Nasa Thailand po siya sa, kanya, sa kanilang pro league. Pero siyempre, Filipino player po siya. Naglalaro, naglalaro rin si Dato sa Ascals. Throw in, pero nakuha ni Jimenez. Pero nakabawi ang stallion. This ping pong bawi. Try to get it back earlier. Mukhang may tulakan ho. The stallion player continuing to stay down. Lim threaded the needle. Offside down. Tawag din kanina. Kaya ito na po ang CBFA. Nagmamadali. Umaatake. CVFA pa rin. It's five off sides for Stalin FC. And two minutes remaining in. Additional time already as a Stalin player is down. As a result of that foul, the score favors them. CVFA trying to get everything forward. They did tie the game again earlier, one all, but Stalin pushed their lead to 3-1. But a second goal allowed them to get within striking distance. Detera, Colio, Gonzalez again. Ang mga goal scorers po sa Stalion, sila Vitwali at Garces naman para sa Central Visayas FA. Loving this over, getting to their man in the attack. Offside already, Larocan denied it. Continued to play, of course. And unfortunate for Central Visayas, Le Barnes was just tapping into his second nature there, going for goal on the right or with the right boot. Less than a minute remaining. 
It's up to the judgment of referee John Mike Basinang, of course, to see how much more will add it to the seven due to stoppages or fouls and supposed injuries. CVFA now, desperation time. Will they work their magic? They have a man who is down, but they are persisting on the attack. And it was poked away by Bengson. Feel the support for them. This is their home field after all. Their assistant coach, John Pintoan, did say that they, they trained in this field in the build-up in hopes of fully utilizing home field advantage. So Lamparas is clearly down. They're desperate to get him off as time is not on their side. We are past the seventh minute already. Looks like that's a last minute substitution made. This could be the last few kicks of the game. So John Tabar checks in with Vince Lamparas coming off. It's now or never for Central Visayas. They send this in. Lauron didn't get a first touch. Looks like that's good though or over the bar. Looks like that was no good. The full-time whistle. You could see the frustration from them. At first, we could see from the body language of Keeper Jet Lauron. Oh, akala natin ang goal sila, pero off target po ang kanilang tira. The full time whistle, Stallion FC3, Central Visayas FA2. What a performance right here. Stallion FC, the second seed or the second best team in Group A. Best thing, Central Visayas FA. The best grouper, top ranked in Group B. They have nothing to be ashamed of here for Central Visayas. Close but not quite, but they showed true character. And that is something, of course, supporters and the community will never forget with the crowd cheering them on. But all is not lost. Central Visayas will figure the battle for third at 8 a.m. on August 24. Stallion FC will advance or are set to advance to the final. That was the final kick of the game there of target. What a, an ending right here. Stallion again took the opener behind James Deterra before John Tualia leveled it in the 19th minute. Joaquin Colio made it 2-1 for Stallion as Andre Gonzalez made it 3. But there was Joseph Garces who had different plans of his own to make it 3-2. But that proved to be the final goal in this match. And what was an absolute thriller and nail-biter at the Dynamic Herb Sports Stadium. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is 3-2 Stallion, um, Stallion over Central Visayas as we have the highlights again to keep you company right here. And there was that goal of Central Visayas. Stallion, Stallion continued to chug goals, so both teams just kept matching each other's respective, intensi respective intensities here. One chasing the other again. The stars of tomorrow were giving us quite a battle as we will try to take you through our final statistics that we will give you on screen eventually. Here are the highlights to keep you company for the meantime.
Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it again. It is Stallion FC3 Central Visayas FA2 James Tetera, Joaquin Colio, Andre Gonzalez for their goal scorers. One goal each as John Bitualia and Joseph Garza picked up the two goals for Central Visayas RA3 as they came all so close. In referring to the hosts and taking a ticket to the finals, but it is Stallion FC taking it for them. They will be squaring off with NCR FA. There's a battle for a third of my fault. My Panay FA versus Central Visayas FA. And this was Clara Manzano on call for this match again. And you were catching this on the PFF Facebook and YouTube pages as we have the highlights to keep you company and the eventual statistics. See you and thank you very much.